Hey, what's up guys? For today's quick video, I thought I would share with you guys a very quick and easy way to switch between the two jailbreaks for iOS 11. As you guys know, if you guys are on iOS 11 to iOS 11.4 beta 3, I'm currently on iOS 11.3.1, you have two options when it comes to jailbreaking, either the Uncovered Jailbreak or Electra. Well, as you guys know, Cydia works pretty dang well on Uncover. It was actually just recently updated to support Cydia Substrate by Jay Freeman himself. Well, the Electra team in contrast is also working on their own package installer dubbed Cilio, which is going to be coming out of beta stages relatively soon. But as you guys know from my previous videos, if you've been keeping up, you can actually install the Cilio beta right now on Electra. Now, unfortunately, Cilio isn't yet available on the Uncovered Jailbreak. It will be available most likely when it is out of beta stages. But for now, we're kind of stuck between the two. If you guys want to use the better Cydia, definitely jailbreak with Uncover. And if you guys want to use the Cilio Beta, definitely jailbreak with Electra. Now, when you use Electra, you can actually use Cydia and Cilio in conjunction. They both can be running at the same time. But Cydia on Electra is still going to be using Substitute, which can be rather buggy at times. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. I'm going to show you guys how you can easily switch between the two jailbreaks. Um, so let's go ahead and start out. Right now, I'm currently not jailbroken. I actually just restored this phone fresh for this video, so hopefully it goes off pretty quickly. And I'll go ahead and cut through um, some of the annoying jailbreak steps. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Uncovered Jailbreak. Again, both of these guys right here can be downloaded via Tweakbox. The link will be in your cards now. Anyway, you can easily install both of those. You can easily switch between them as I'm going to show you in today's video. All right, well, if you're currently jailbroken and you wanna switch, if you're on Uncover or on Electra, the easiest way to do so is download the Uncover Jailbreak, go down to Restore Root FS, select that guy right there, go back to Jailbreak and click Jailbreak. And this is a bit unintuitive, but this is actually going to unjailbreak your device and not actually jailbreak. It's going to remove all your previous jailbreak related files and restore that root FS file right there. Anyway, this is currently stock iOS, so I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to jailbreak for the very first time using Uncover. Now, both of these jailbreak utilities will actually have to be run twice. The very first time is going to install Cydia and run through some of the normal jailbreaking processes right here, and then the second time is actually going to enable the jailbreak. All right, well, assuming this actually goes through and works correctly, we're going to get to about halfway through, and yeah, there we go. The system snapshot has been successfully renamed. That is what you want to see on the uncovered jailbreak. The device will be rebooted now. So again, like I said, this utility is actually going to have to be run twice. This first time, it's it's going to go through its initial exploitation process and then the second time it's actually going to install Cydia and enable the jailbreak. But if you guys don't have any previous jailbreak data, that is the warning sign that you want to see and this is exactly what you want to have happen. All right, so let's go open this guy one more time. We're gonna go into the uncovered jailbreak once more, once this uh, pop-ups go away. And now we're gonna hit jailbreak once more. All right, and there we go. It's getting pretty dang far, so I'm guessing this is gonna work right here. Typically, when it gets to about these stages, for me, it usually works perfectly fine. There we are, 63 out of 64. I'm guessing this is gonna work. And there we go, it looks like it's going to respring, and there is the respring logo. All right, and it looks like we're back online. We should have Cydia right there, yes we do. We're gonna go ahead and open this guy up, and as you guys can see, Cydia is full screen. The Uncovered Jailbreak has this awesome new Cydia interface. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with it if you keep up on this channel. I'm gonna go ahead and do a complete upgrade right here. Click Confirm. So if Cydia crashes, that's perfectly fine. Just leave it be. Let's go ahead and open it one more time and everything should have updated perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and hit refresh just to make sure there's no more changes and it's already done. There we go, we are completely up to date. 
All right, well, I'm filming two videos at once. So we have this one today, but stay tuned for another one coming up. All right, so where we were in this video, we just jailbroke with Uncover, and now we're gonna revert back to the Electra jailbreak. As you guys can see, I've installed a couple tweaks, but nothing too crazy. So when we're here, the thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to shut down our device and get it out of the jailbroken state. Not erase, but shut down. You can either shut down in the settings menu or just use your commands right here and shut down the device manually and then we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy back on once it's had a second to shut down and once we're back online we can just swipe up from the home screen wait for these little prompts to come up unfortunately I restored this phone with blobs that's why face ID doesn't work on this iPhone 10 but now that we're back on our home screen not in the jailbroken state we still are jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak if the jailbreak is just not enabled well like I said at the very beginning of this video the easiest way to unjailbreak your device is actually using the uncovered jailbreak utility. Once we've reverted back to stock iOS, we can then use Electra to install that jailbreak utility. So now I'm going to head into the uncovered jailbreak utility and instead of clicking jailbreak to re-enable our jailbreak, I'm going to go to settings right here at the bottom tab and then scroll down to restore root FS or recover in parentheses and you're going to toggle that guy on. It's going to be toggled off for you. You can just toggle it on right there. Then you can navigate back to jailbreak and then press jailbreak. Now this time it's actually not going to be jailbreaking our device. It's going to be removing all of our jailbreak related files. Now not to fear, none of your personal data is going to be touched in this process. So all of your photos, all of your contacts, everything else aside from the jailbreak related files is going to stay there on your device. So here in just a second, we should get a prompt. Notice, will restore root FS or file system. This may take a while. Don't exit the app and don't lock the device. You can click OK. Usually it just takes a second. And there we go. It says, notice root file system has successfully been restored. The device will now be restarted. And there we go, guys. And now we have reverted back to stock iOS. Our device is going to reboot. And when we are back online, we are no longer going to be jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak. All right, same process here, guys. We can just swipe up to go back home. And now, instead of using the uncovered jailbreak utility, now we can actually use the Electra jailbreak utility to jailbreak with Electra. So we can go ahead and open up that utility right there. Again, the links to this will be in your cards now or in the description of this video, the very first link. Now we can go ahead and click jailbreak and we will be jailbreaking with Electra. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, as you guys will notice, Electra takes quite a few times to actually jailbreak successfully compared to that of Uncover. For me, it usually only takes one or two tries to successfully get Uncover to jailbreak. For Electra, on the other hand, it usually takes four or five. Now, the only reason in this video why the Uncovered Jailbreak actually didn't work on its very first try is I actually had the iOS 12.1.2 update pending in my settings right there. So I actually had to go ahead and delete that guy. That seems to be the number one cause of these jailbreak utilities. Failing is if you have a pending iOS update downloaded but not installed yet. So you can just select that and you can click delete update right there. And then at the very bottom, it's going to ask you if you want to delete the update and you can actually go ahead and just delete the update off of your phone. So that seemed to fix all of my problems with the uncovered jailbreak. The Electra jailbreak on the other hand is a whole nother issue. And there we go, steps 203, installing Cydia and we're gonna perform a quick reboot for Electra and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we're booted back up, we're gonna go ahead and run the jailbreak utility one more time, this time enabling the jailbreak. All right, there we go, steps two out of three, and there is our respring to enable the Electra jailbreak. And there's the respring logo, so we know it didn't crash. Wow, my phone has awful fingerprints everywhere, but there we are. Let's see exactly what happens. Let's go ahead and see if we can open up Cydia. Yes, we can. There we are. We are jailbroken with the Electra jailbreak. As you guys can see, the Electra jailbreak has a much different Cydia. This is the one that has yet to be updated for iOS 11. Still, Sork himself hasn't actually updated the Cydia application. That was done by the Uncovered Jailbreak team. Jay Freeman actually did update Cydia Substrate, which is what all of your tweaks run off of, but that can't be applied with this jailbreak. What we're actually going to do with the Electra jailbreak after upgrading Cydia, of course, is installing Cilio. 
Now, Cilio is the alternative package installer to Cydia, and if you guys want to know more about this, definitely check out some of my previous videos where I did a hands-on walkthrough of this. And there we go, right there, it actually is an available upgrade for us, so we can go ahead and click Update. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and then install Cilio. Again, this is just the beta, but we're going to go ahead and install it anyway. Return to Cydia. Go back to the home screen, and there we are, guys. The Cilio beta has been installed. And this is after jailbreaking with the Electra jailbreak, reverting back to stock iOS, and then jailbreaking with Electra, installing Cydia, and then installing Cilio. So that's a quick and easy way that you guys can do to switch between the two jailbreaks. For the hell of it, I'm gonna go ahead and actually revert back to Uncover to show you guys that there's no funny business going on here. All right, well, welcome back. As you might have noticed, the same type of thing has happened with this. I'm filming another video, like I said, so stay tuned for that one tomorrow. Well, like I promised just a second ago, we are now jailbroken with the Electra jailbreak, and we're going to revert back to the Uncover jailbreak. So same steps as before. We're going to go ahead and shut down our device. Again, just so I'm not uh, moving this at all, I'm just going to go ahead and click shut down and slide to shut down. All right, and then we're going to wake the device back up. All right, well, once we're back online, we're gonna do the same steps as before. We're gonna go ahead and head into the uncovered jailbreak. Again, we're not in the jailbroken state right now. Now we can actually go into the settings right here and re-toggle that restore root FS recover. This is going to remove Electra. This can also remove the uncovered jailbreak as you saw pretty much any jailbreak related files, even if you're using another jailbreak utility, this will remove all jailbreak related files and revert you back to stock iOS. So click jailbreak to unjailbreak in this case, and I'll be right back. Again, same prompts as before, just select OK and select OK and your device is going to restart and all of your previous jailbreak related files are going to be removed. All right, and we're booted back up and again, just like I promised, we're going to go ahead and actually jailbreak once more with the uncovered jailbreak. Again, as you guys can see, once the file system has been restored, this toggle automatically deselects itself. So you really don't have to do anything, you just have to open up uncover and press jailbreak. Again, as you guys might have noticed, every time you remove all your jailbreak related files, all of your tweaks, and all of your sources are going to be removed. So it'd be a great idea to use Flame or some other way to back up your sources and back up your tweaks, either, like I said, by using Flame or just by taking screenshots. So, so we, we ran it run once, we're going to go once, ahead and we're going to run the utility one more time, just like last time. All right, and there we are, it's continuing along, and it looks like we're gonna be able to re-enable our jailbreak. But continuing what I was saying before, pretty much all you gotta know when you're switching jailbreaks like this is you have to back up your tweaks list as well as your sources or repositories list. Again, like I've been saying, my favorite tweak to do that is by using Flame with Insidia, and there's also a new tweak out that I'll be doing a video on very shortly for Cilio. But again, that's still in beta, so we'll have to wait and see. But again, now when we go back into Cydia, again, we're jailbroken once more with the uncovered jailbreak. And I'm just going to go ahead and update all this once more and be right back. All right, well, there we are, guys. Once again, the Uncovered Jailbreak is fully up and running with the latest Cydia Substrate update applied as well. So, so I hope, hope that, that guys gives you guys a good idea of how to switch between the Uncover and Electra Jailbreaks. It's pretty easy to do so. It really isn't that hard. But the most tedious part is just backing up your tweaks and backing up your sources and then re-adding everything once you're re-jailbroken. So I really wouldn't recommend doing this every single day or something like that. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there isn't a good tweak to back up actual tweaks. Flame works really well for sources, but again, you really have to install everything from scratch. That's the only hard part between switching between the two jailbreaks. Other than that, it's really not too complicated, just a couple extra steps needed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and definitely subscribe for future updates on Cilio and iOS 12 jailbreaks. Anyway, Anyway guys, again, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.